I'm Dylan Black. He's here to offer uh, guidance and inspiration that will help all marketing and communications leaders thrive in today's ever-changing digital landscape. Joining us, we say hello to Bob Picard, Managing Partner of National Public Relations. Hello, Bob. How are you? I'm okay, Dylan. How are you doing? I'm good. It's good to have you here. You've got all kinds of great tips. Uh, National Public Relations, though. Tell us a bit about it. Well, the company is Canada's largest public relations firm, and we have offices from coast to coast. And we provide communications and public relations for companies and organizations all across the country and beyond internationally as well. Okay, and you've got an office here in Ottawa? We do indeed. Okay. Why is social media uh, now a key public relations battleground, really? Well, as you know, there are 37 million Canadians, and as of today, about 25 million Canadians are active on social media. Mm -hmm. So it really has become, social media has become, the new public square. When opinions are shared, when information is propagated, when relationships are forged or issues arise in the news, a lot of this plays out in the social media stream, especially on, on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and other platforms. Mm -hmm. Lots of conversation going on on there, sure. for sure. Okay, so how is social media then changing uh, what a PR disaster looks like? It's not just watching the news anymore. You're seeing this all unfold on social media. Well, what's happened is that because social media has exposed so many more areas that were in private before into the public sphere, so many more uh, people have in their hand a smartphone with a camera that can take pictures of things going on. They can share experiences uh, with a few touches on the glass uh, on, a, on Twitter, Facebook, what have you. And it's created a risk profile for companies that they didn't have before. And so we did a poll, uh, Nanos Research, the Ottawa-based pollster, did a, a survey and he found that 53% uh, of Canadians believe that social media is driving PR disasters. It's because hmm. of the ubiquity of the technology. Everyone has a smartphone. So if a company gets in trouble or there's some kind of mistake that, that they make, then you can capture it on the smartphone and then share it with everybody all at once. And that creates a lot of headaches for companies. It creates a lot of risks, a lot of dangers. Mm -hmm. Nanos also found out that social media has become the number one most dangerous weapon to, to destroy an image, yeah. uh, a person's image or an organization's image. Mm -hmm. And so people need to figure out what to do about this, uh, okay. how to build an image and how to protect a reputation. And of course you're talking about CEOs in particular, correct? Sure. Okay, so when it comes to the disasters, I mean, what, what are some of the do's and don'ts that CEOs should be handling on social media? When something goes wrong for a company, the leader of a company should establish presence in the now of the news going on around the company. So for example, that person, that CEO, would on Twitter, for example, say, let's just say there's an explosion at the factory. It's a manufacturing company, let's say. The CEO would say there's been an explosion at the plant. We're trying to get to the bottom of this. We are looking into this, and if you have any, any information, please let us know. I will update you continuously. So by doing that, a leader has uh, created an opportunity to inform the public and to be the source of record, the authoritative source for what's going on, uh, which otherwise uh, would result, if that person didn't do it, in an information vacuum where critics uh, or people uh, spreading rumors would, would fill that vacuum. Okay, so it's important to have the person at the top instead of maybe somebody, a representative. It's good to have the CEO getting online. Yeah, because when something goes wrong, all eyes look for the leader online. People don't go to the official company website where you've got that packaged format of corporate communication. They're looking for what the leader of the company really thinks about what's going on right now uh, in the present moment. And so it's very important for these leaders of companies or large-scale organizations or government departments here in Ottawa mm -hmm. to, to strike the right emotional cord. Social media is emotional media. And so they can't just use like corporate speak or clever words written up by, by lawyers. No, they have to speak in a language just like real people and to do so on an easily accessible social media platform. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you then, okay, so if we talk about a certain leader in a, in a big country yeah. uh, that sometimes isn't always informed with the facts but just goes mm -hmm. to social media. Mm -hmm. I mean, is a person like that ruining it for CEOs perhaps? I think CEOs have to show that they will fearlessly and courageously communicate with the public. Another new Nanos poll, it just came out. It shows that 45% of Canadians now expect CEOs of leading organizations to communicate with them directly on social media. Now, Nanos also asked 
uh, well, do you expect the CEO to communicate on social media if there's a crisis? And two out of three Canadians now support that. So the expectation is there mm -hmm. that the CEO should be out there communicating. Now, should the CEO respond to every critic or, or every, every mm -hmm. uh, twitch of criticism on there? No, um, yeah, they should be to sticking do. to their message. <laughs> pretty hard to, uh, to uh, react to all the cri critics out there, for sure. But sure. 20 seconds left. That's so noise, yeah. Yeah, your business then is available uh, here in Ottawa to help out with these? Absolutely, National Public Relations. We have a well-established Ottawa operation, and we have an expanding business here in town. Perfect. National.ca. Bob Picard, thank you for all your tips and expertise today. Thank you, Dylan. We appreciate your time. More daytime coming up right here on Rogers TV.